In a few short years, Virginia will become the MVP when it comes to the port. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Hudson. And I'm Regina Mobley. You can toss the confetti now. The Port of Virginia in 2024 will become the deepest and most competitive port on the East Coast. It's an economic driver for Virginia. It's an attraction. It is a job creator. Can you tell former Governor George Allen is excited about the future of the Port of Virginia? Eight years and $2 billion later, by 2024, the Port of Virginia at 55 feet will be the deepest port along the East Coast with room to grow. I think we are being recognized as the one deep water port in the country that can handle additional capacity because of the building that we have done in the last six years to deepen our harbor, uh, to add capacity to each of our two largest terminals, and that's just going to continue. Business and civic leaders packed a luncheon where port officials proudly revealed the game stats for 2021. 437,000 full-time jobs, $100 billion in spending, $47 billion in Virginia gross state product, $27 billion in labor income, and $2.7 billion in taxes and fees. Work on the waterfront has provided job security for multiple generations in Hampton Roads. Labor leaders say the next generation is prepared. It's not like it used to be in regards to break bulk cargo, then comes containerization and automation. We have to adapt to it. Do you think the workforce, the young workforce is ready? Yes, I do. I do. They're ready and they're well trained. Right now, there are 2,300 members of the ILA in Hampton Roads who earn up to $37 an hour. If you're interested in a career in the Port of Virginia, see this story later today on wavy.com.